Hello, everyone, and thank Hello. you for tuning in today to uh, this version of Jabbering with John. Today, my guest is Dan Weaver. Dan is with Covenant Home Care and acts as the face for Covenant Home Care and Continuous Home Health on our campus. Some of you may have already met Dan. He's been very visible since he's uh, come to, uh, to Brethren Village. Uh, but we thought we'd take some time today to introduce Dan to all of you a little bit more and to also understand a little bit more about what Dan does at Covenant and Continuous. So Dan, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about you? Uh, my name is Dan, uh, obviously. Uh, I'm a nurse um, and I'm here to assist everybody here in independent living. Um, my background started when I was 19. Um, as a home health aide, then I was a CNA at Willow Valley, um, then I went to nursing school, and then I did a lot of agency work, got into a cardiologist, and now I'm here. Um, and anything, any other questions you'd like to ask? <laughs> well, no, that's a pretty good background. So you know the long-term health care business. Mm -hmm. I mean, working as, as a CNA, as a care aide, um, and then also in cardiology. So you have a pretty broad clinical background. Yes, sir. Um, and I'm here to, uh, um, to bring that to bear for, for the benefit of all, uh, all of you here at Brethren Village. Um, and I am open for questions. I'm available for anybody via the home care phone line um, if you just have any general health questions. Um, and I'm just here to support you. Okay. Well, before we get to those contact numbers, maybe you could help our viewers understand a little bit what's that difference between home care and home health? Well... That's a great question, John. Uh, home care is assistance with uh, activities of daily living. Um, say you need a little help uh, cooking, you need a little help cleaning, do some light cleaning around the house, you need a little help um, just with, uh, with basic stuff at home, um, you know, that includes personal care, um, then home care can send a nurse's aide to your home or a home health aide um, to assist you with that. Uh, home health is where you would have a physical therapist, an occupational therapist, or a skilled nurse such as myself come to your home and assist you on a more clinical level with, uh, with medical issues. Um, if you are unable to leave your home or if it would be uh, ha have a better outcome for your health to stay at home and receive those services. Okay. Now, sometimes people kind of think in terms of, well, who's paying for these services? So it might be helpful to generally say that if I get home health services, who pays? Or if I get home care services, who pays? Another excellent question, John. Uh, home care is out of pocket, unfortunately. That is not covered by Medicare at this time in the state of Pennsylvania. However, home health is covered by Medicare, and the costs are usually uh, none to, or, or at least much, much lower than it would be uh, for out of pocket expenses. So if a resident, for example, goes into the hospital and they may have an orthopedics procedure, or they may have um, surgery, or really even just a medical visit. They could be discharged home with home health services, correct? That is correct. And okay. usually we try to get on the ball as early as possible uh, for the surgery date, and then we'll notify you as soon as we can, and sort of talk to you about uh, what the surgery is gonna be, what the recovery time, so you can have that safety net as soon as you come home, because that's really, really important, John. Um, because oftentimes, uh, you know, they'll be sent to rehab and then they'll be sent home, but sometimes they are sent directly home, especially with the overcrowding of the hospitals. And that home health support could really, really help keep your strength up and get you back on your feet as soon as possible. Right. Now, I just want to talk to our, to our viewers a little bit, um, and just maybe as um, a way of explaining some of the things that we've done as Brethren Village uh, in order to help age in place. Uh, we've been committed to aging in place safely and appropriately for independent living. As you may have already experienced or you hear reports, more of healthcare is moving from hospital stays to what we call home or community-based services, which is what Dan was describing in terms of home health uh, services, that Medicare reimbursed in-home services. Now, they're limited for a certain amount of time, and working with a group like Covenant Continuous, they'll be able to guide you through that, that process. But all of this is to help residents age in place. So maybe, Dan, you could tell us a little bit about your understanding of aging in place and how the work of Covenant 
and continuous kind of plays into that here at Brethren Village. I'm really glad you brought that up, John, um, because aging in place, as you said, uh, is, you know, the attitudes are changing, um, whereas we want to keep you at home as long as possible. And aging in place um, keeps you at home and keeps you comfortable, but you still have that skilled support. You still have that, uh, that, little, that little extra bump at home if you need, uh, if you have trouble getting around or if uh, you know, your activities of daily living um, become harder. And we fit into that by trying to keep you at home for as long as possible. And that's something I really want to get across. Uh, we're not trying to take you away from your home. We are trying to keep you there and keep you healthy, which is what our services do, is to keep you there and keep you healthy. It's not to go tell on you and then take you away from your apartment and put you in a skilled place. Now, if that does happen eventually, that's, um, that's due to the entire healthcare team, as well as you talking with you and your family um, to discuss what's ultimately the, going to be the best outcome for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it gets a little complicated and things are changing, but we have that advantage of working with partners like Covenant and Continuous here on the campus. Uh, again, to drive uh, that aging in place strategy so that you can stay in your apartment or cottage uh, safely and appropriately for uh, as long as you can. Now, there's a lot more than just what home care and home health do in your apartment or cottage. So Dan has been running some uh, activities, some um, ask a nurse sessions and all. Maybe you could tell our viewers a little bit about some of the other things that you're doing uh, as Covenant Continuous. Sure, and, and as, as John said, we, uh, I, I run a couple of ask a nurse sessions on every other Wednesday at the HUD buildings and every Wednesday at 9 a.m. over at... Uh, over at Townhouse, and Carolyn, the other nurse, is over at Fieldcrest. For those of you that have been there, hello, it's nice to see you, I'm on the big screen. Um, but uh, we are out uh, in the community. We really, really strive to be a part of the community. Um, I was at the turkey trot, I was helping with the vaccinations. Um, I will, if you call and you just have a minor problem, like you need your oxygen, just adjust. If you have a couple of questions, you're feeling faint, you just want a blood pressure, I'll come to your home, you don't need to sign up for anything, I'll just check on you, see how you're doing. Um, so we're, you know, it's, and he's right, it's more than just signing up and getting those services at home. It's the general support. Um, and we are kind of, you know, not kind of, we are that support for you. Um, you know, all you got to do is just call the home care number. Um, now, if it's an emergency, that's, um, and there's been a little, little bit back and forth about this. Like, if it's an emergency, you know it's an emergency, and that's when you call 911 or call security. But if there are those in-between questions, some, you know, there's, nebulous medical things, something where you need an answer to, you need a skilled eye, a skilled ear, then we are here, um, you can call us and we can come to you and check you out and do what's called a wellness visit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think probably what we would understand that to be is you're there as a trusted and reliable source of information, uh, clinical uh, training and so forth. So for, for our viewers, for our residents, um, we continue to want you to be able to call us with questions that you have. And Dan and his team um, are available to, to answer those questions that sometimes you just don't know who to ask uh, about some clinical questions. So it's good to have you. Uh, it's good to be team. here. When um, we talk about residents and outside of them being discharged from the hospital with home health or having home care needs, how might a resident, or a family member of a resident identify when home care uh, might be appropriate? What might be some of those triggers for them to think about? If, uh, if staying at home is becoming more difficult, um, then some of those triggers might be uh, just weakness, uh, just a generalized uh, decline in functionality. Um, often that includes a chronic disease that has, that's already been there but is kind of progressing further. Um, and or Parkinson's, um, congestive heart failure, that's something we've talked about before. All of these are chronic issues that, uh, that, that eventually kind of just make, make your life a little bit harder. Uh, but really, it's any concern at all. Um, you know, if, if life at home is just more difficult, then home care is, you know, it, it would be an appropriate solution uh, for you um, to sort of help you get around and, uh, and help keep your standard of living to the level that is necessary to you know, live at home. So if, if I would hear that, it, and you describe those activities of daily living, if uh, 
part of my aging process is it's becoming more difficult for me to do some dressing in the morning or to bathe or to be able to provide, you know, a lot of our residents wear compression stockings for uh, circulation issues. Those are the types of things that if I need a little help, I'd be giving you a call to, to see about how home care might help me do those activities of daily living. Oh, that, is that correct? Oh, sure. And some of those activities don't, you know, that might only take a couple of minutes and combine, you know, maybe a little bit of help with breakfast, uh, you know, and that's what this service called Tender Touch does. Say you have the, uh, the compression stockings in the morning, plus uh, maybe a little bit help with uh, making breakfast or something and, you know, making your bed. Um, we can do um, as little as a 30 minute visit. We prefer an hour, but a 30 minute visit in the morning, come in and help you do that. Say there is a, uh, you know, you're having a little bit of trouble at night with taking off the compression stockings or um, or, you know, getting ready for bed, then again, um, 30 minutes, come in, do a tender touch visit, get you all set up, and then, you know, you'll be uh, sleeping at home mm -hmm. comfortably. So, yeah. Okay. And then on the home health side, just again, to, to understand what those differences are, um, that would be mostly a licensed nurse or That's a correct. licensed caregiver coming in for a specific clinical purpose. So on home health, that could be if you have a wound, mm -hmm. that they would be coming in to take care of that wound, dress it, treat it. Uh, but there's a definite kind of discharge date in mind that after so many sessions that Medicare will cover, as long as you've progressed, then you would be discharged from that. Home health is really as you need it. So again, it's out of pocket. It's to the resident's uh, out of pocket expense, but they really define how long they would want those services to be able um, to be provided to them. That's correct. That correct? That's correct. And, and home care with the home health aides uh, tends to be a little bit longer term. And as you, as you pointed out, uh, home health, it's, uh, it's, for, it's often for an acute uh, episode, for instance, an ER visit uh, for, you know, heart palpitations. And, you know, you, have, you, had, you had a problem, you went to the ER, you come home, a nurse will come see you maybe for four weeks for that kind of thing to make sure you're stabilized communicate any issues with your doctor and really, really, uh, you know, kind of be your eye, the eyes and ears for, for whatever doctor or health provider you prefer to sort of keep you healthy and make sure that, uh, you know, you get the right care um, at the right time. And as you said, home health, again, is for the wound care. Um, that's a skilled nurse coming in and providing the wound dressing and making sure that heals up. And also on top of the skilled nursing, there's also physical therapists and occupational therapists on the home health side. Mm -hmm. And that's, um, again, say you had, you had a fall, um, you broke your arm. Um, you go through all, all of that, that, that awful, awful thing. You know, you, go, you come home, you have a cast. Um, then we can send a, th a physical therapist into your home, and we can help you keep your strength up, um, you know, under the direction of your doctor, of course. And occupational therapy, except that's, you know, that's more along the lines of uh, uh, the practical application of your movement within your home, like cooking for yourself and all that. Mm -hmm. So. So it sounds like a lot of the home care and home health is really customized to the individual resident's needs. Absolutely. So whether they're clinical needs or their activities of daily living, it's really important for those residents to be able to talk to someone like you uh, in home care, home health, to really understand how, if they think they need those services, they might be customized and access them. Sure. So again, calling Dan really is what we, we want to communicate today. If you have any of those questions, feel free to do so. That's right. And call the home care number. We're, we're here. We're available. Um, it's 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. Um, you can call me. I can be your liaison. Um, or, or anybody else really at the office is perfectly capable of that as well. Uh, but yes, you are absolutely correct. That's based on your needs. Um, that's based on... Uh, um, how we can help you. We're here to help. So if residents or their family members wanted to call and they have an idea that they may want to talk to you about their, their loved one or themselves, what number should they call? Uh, it's the home care number listed on the Brethren, uh, the Brethren Village list. Um, that, that number exists. It gets routed right to my phone and you can leave a message. Okay. And since I'm one of those that rarely remembers phone numbers. Me too. And I'm going to put you on the spot here. <laughs> 
why don't we just make sure that we have that running across. Call the number that you see on your screen um, now if you have questions about uh, home care and home health. Dan or one of the other uh, Covenant continuous uh, team members will be there to answer your questions. And if for some reason they can't answer your question right then and there, feel free to leave a message and they'll get back to you just as, as soon as they can uh, with, uh, with an answer and be happy to chat with you. Dan, is there anything else that we haven't covered today? That's a big topic. It's uh, sometimes confusing, but um, you know, my mind thinks that we've covered a lot, but maybe there are some other things in your mind that we haven't touched that we want to cover today. No, oh, John, I think you did, you're a great interviewer. You did a great job of uh, sort of parsing the differences between, between our services, answering many of the common questions, because I'm sure you hear them. And uh, I just want to put out there that we're happy to be here. We have a great partnership with Brethren Village. Um, and we'd like to hear your call. And you'll be seeing my face around campus. And I'll be happy to meet you. Very good. Well, I hope you'd enjoyed this uh, time of getting to meet Dan Weaver a little bit more. I would agree. Dan is. Um, is one of our newer uh, friends and members of the of the community, but uh, I hope you'll come to uh, to appreciate Dan as much as I have in working with him. Um, he's committed to uh, to service. He's committed to high clinical care, and um, he is indeed a really good fit for for Brethren Village. So that'll wrap up this episode of Jabbering with John. I hope you uh, find it helpful, and um, please, as you have questions about home care, home health. Call that number that we uh, posted uh, in front of you a few moments ago. Until the next time, have a good day.